Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Wednesday, the 18th day of January, 2023. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. This service is streamed live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. To participate in the live service, go to goodsheponline.org, select the worship drop-down list, and click on prayer. Scroll down and you will find the service leaflet for today's service. Just look for today's date. Immediately above the service leaflets, there is an image of prayer books in the pews. Click on the link to join via Zoom. This service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. on all Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of goodsheponline.org. Good morning, Julie and Pete. It's nice to see you. So today, we celebrate the Feast of the Confession of St. Peter, which we will read in the New Testament reading. And many times I have read this, but I'm getting old. I have to renew my education all the time. Anyway, I always said to myself, I don't understand this. It's, to me, it's not a confession, it's a declaration. And as I read, when I looked it up on YouTube or whatever, Google, the confession is the confession of faith. It is the bedrock and belief on which Christianity is built. That's so fun. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. For lo, I will come and dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 
Today we will say the Venite together. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Today we say the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from the book of Acts, chapter four. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed, done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed. Let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that you rejected that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and realized that they were uneducated and ordinary men, they were amazed and recognized them as companions of Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, Letty. It's nice to see you. Let us say together the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. 
Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from the book of Matthew, chapter 16. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your prayer, under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collects. The Collect for the Feast of the Confession of St. Peter. <clears throat> Almighty Father, who inspired Simon Peter, first among the apostles, to confess Jesus as Messiah and Son of the Living God, keep your church steadfast upon the rock of this faith that in unity and peace, we may proclaim the one truth and follow the one Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path may not stumble through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ and particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Oxford, Church of England, the Right Reverend Stephen Croft, Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and our Companion Diocese. Remembering today, especially the Diocese of Haiti, the Right Reverend Jean Zacré Durasan, Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people 
is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Kathy, Ruth, Pam, Susie and family, Tom, Ivan, Mary, Cindy, Takashi, Jackie, Carol Ann, Jeff, Shirley, Elaine, America, and her mom. I know her name, I just can't remember it right now. We pray also for our GROW Ministries, remembering especially Sunday School, that pre-K through fifth grade children may learn about Christian tradition in a loving and nurturing environment and nursery, that infants at Good Shepherd may receive nurturing care while their parents attend Sunday Eucharist. A prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom every good and perfect gift send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of your grace, and that they may truly please you. Pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your heart. Ian asks that we pray for the victims of the war in Ukraine, especially those who were killed in the destruction of the apartment complex in, in Dnipro. When will that war end? We pray for their souls. Let me ask that we pray that Jonathan's procedure will alleviate his headaches. Pray for Bill that he can find an answer for his back pain. I don't know that there are ever any good answers for back pain but may the Lord show him the way. And now I remember, may the Lord give Mary Ella strength to endure, strength to suffer through her pain, knowing that she may heal in time. And give America strength to carry on. Let us say a litany of thanksgiving. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, and all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, 
we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a blessed, blessed day. Remember to be kind. Be kind to all that you meet. Amen.